If you happen to watch the previous video for question 7, there was a video from YouTube about a trundle wheel or a measuring wheel and what happens here, the really sophisticated ones, there's a clicker in here and what happens is every time the wheel makes one revolution, this turns over and there'd be like it started at 0, 0, 0 and then it goes 0, 0, 1 and 0, 0, 2 and so on and you'll hear an audible click and it's very useful for measuring things, you know, along the ground, maybe if it's a somewhat curved route or a distance between two points rather that, you know, if it's longer than a long measuring tape or something like that. And often these will be calibrated so that one revolution of the wheel is going to be one meter. And, you know, what you could imagine is if, if you covered this wheel in paint, let's say. So it's sitting here and it's covered. We'll use water instead of defacing the ground with paint. So if it's wet and you're on pavement, as you roll, if you start here, what will happen is the wetness, when you make one complete revolution, if this was one meter, you'll see that one meter track along the ground. So the circumference is what we're dealing with here. He wants the wheel to go around once for every meter the trundle wheel is pushed. So that translates to the circumference. One meter along the ground will represent one meter of the circumference. So that lets us figure out what the radius of this wheel would have to be in order for that to happen. Circumference is 2 pi r. In this case, we know the circumference is meters. Um, it doesn't say units. I'm going to work in centimeters. It's just a little bit more accurate because we have more uh, digits here that we're working with. You could work in meters. It's totally fine. So 100 centimeters is equal to 2 times pi times r. And note, the 2 has no units. Pi has no units. So the answer is going to be in centimeters. I don't want 2 times pi times r. I just want r. I'm multiplying by 2, multiplying by pi. I have to divide by 2 and divide by pi. So I'm going to do that on both sides of the equation. 2 and 2 cancels, pi and pi cancels. So using my calculator and all the digits that I have, I'm going 100 divided by, and I'm using brackets here, uh, 2 times using the value of pi that my calculator has. And that's 15 point, we'll say to two decimal places, whatever, 9, 2, and that's going to be centimeters. So in order for us to measure out one meter along the ground when the wheel rotates um, through one revolution, the radius of the wheel would have to be 15.92 centimeters.